Hi, welcome to the channel. So as you can see, I've put the kayak away this week and I'm out fishing on the beach. So today I'll be fishing from an area of Hillhead and you might be able to recognise it from the camera and from what's going overhead. But yeah, we're on a hunt for smooth hounds from the beach. I've got, I've got three rods with me, but I've only at the moment got squid and a bit of mackerel as bait. So um, I'll start with one to two rods and we'll see how we go. But I am going to try and get a crab pot out and I'm going to try something a little bit different this week and try and catch some crabs um, while I'm fishing. So hopefully towards the end of the night, um, I'll have a bucket full of crabs. I've also got um, Phil that's popped down and he's got some crabs so I might go and borrow a couple of him just to get me started. <laughs> um, squid's as good as anything, so I'm not too fussed. But yeah, um, high tide's about quarter past 11 and I think it's about half six now so we've got lots of time to get set up. Um, yep, yeah, get the rods out and hopefully catch some fish. So I'm going to press fast forward now and you can watch me set up and then I'll come back to you and I'll show you what bait I'm using. Lovely. Right, one thing we're gonna try and do today, guys, we're gonna try and actually catch some crabs while we're here. So I brought this um, crab pot, which is about a tenner off Amazon. And what we do, got an old manky mackerel here, it's probably defrosted a couple of times and been refroze. So I'm gonna break that in half, chuck that in. Um, I will try and find a bigger rock. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wade out and chuck this out so the tide will come over it and in two or three hours, I'm gonna reel it back in and hopefully we're gonna have some crabs in there. I just need to try and find a bigger rock. I'm actually using my kayak anchor reel here, so I don't have to get wet later, I'm trying to find it again. I can just reel it in. So, attach this here. And yeah. Well, let's find some big stones. Hoping you can see this all right. And it, it shouldn't go anywhere anyway because I'm going to have real to read it back in. But it'd just be good to try and stop it moving around too much. Cool. The bigger stones, try and spread the macro out a little bit. And I'll show you what I'm going to do with it. So we're going to let a lot of line out on the reel first, I think, just in case. really that keen on wading out and getting too wet. I've got all that weed today. You can see this is going to be a problem. So I'm going to do, I'm going to take my shoes off. Go and get wet. Right. Whoa, look at all this weed. It's worrying. But no, this shouldn't need to be too far out. I'm thinking just about here. If I drop that down there. Lovely, I and mean, there's a lot of weed there. I'm hoping we're good to go. There we There. Right, let's come back in two or three hours and see how we're doing. So that's two rods out. I managed to borrow some crabs from Phil. He's just down the beach there. Um, so basically, I'll, go, I'll talk through a gear. So again, I've got my um, Tronics Pro Bands IBZ6 and a BZ5. And for reels, I've got my Shimano Ultegra XSC Cifa 14s with 20 pound mono on that with tapered shock leaders. Um, on the BZ6, I've got a crab on there, hardback crab. And on the BZ5, I've just got a whole squid wrapped. 
and there you see my dive reel and there's a crab pot out there and hopefully I'll be able to retrieve that later if it's not swamped by um, seaweed. But yeah, fingers crossed and um, hopefully have a good night. There's a lot of fishermen setting up down the beach. Probably can't see them. So it's gonna be a busy night tonight, I think, down here. Yeah, catch you in a bit. So as you can see, I've got my third rod out. On here, I put strips of squid on a free hook flapper. And this is just my old um, Shakespeare Agility beach casting rod and my Shakespeare Agility 2 beach casting reel. This is from when I first started out. So hopefully we're going to be looking for those bass that are patrolling the shoreline. I've just thrown it about 20 yards out. Right guys, it's just coming up to nine o'clock. So we're about two hours of high tide and the sun's just gone down. So I'm expecting it to pick up a bit now. Um, we've had a hound caught up the beach, but nothing off my rods yet, unfortunately. So I've just pulled in all three rods and refreshed all the bait. So we've got a fresh crab on one, fresh squid on another. And then on this one here, we've got a free hook flapper with strips of squid. So yep, lots of anglers here today. Um, so fingers crossed we get lucky as well. So let's have a look at these crab pots. We've been here for about two or three hours now. So if they're not working now, they're not going to. So I'm going to reel this in, but I should imagine it's absolutely caked in seaweed. But we'll see what we've got in there. And I can always throw it back out. We're going to be here for a while yet. Hopefully you can see that. A little escapee there. Wow, guys, we have got some crabs. <laughs> right, guys, can you see them all in there? A lot of these are too small, so we're gonna have to go and let them back. But that's what we're after. Hard back crabs for the smooth hands, 50p size and up. Perfect. A lot of baby crabs in here, unfortunately. They're just about okay. See them in there? So there we go, guys. Guys, here's a crab net. I'm oh, sorry, turn that light off. Got quite a few crabs in there again now. Not as many as I thought there would be, but certainly enough for a couple of sessions and to fill the freezer up. Let's have a look. So yeah, perfect net. I'll tell you what, there's so many small ones in there to release. Shame they're not all of, all of size. So there you go, that's from one session today. I'm not the perfect place to collect them, but that'll do the job. Lovely. And that's from a £10 uh, crab net, so I've definitely got my money's worth there. Right guys, that was a pretty shocking trip today. Um, one bite all night, but no fish. Yeah, disappointing really. Um, lots and lots and lots and lots of seaweed. Um, that was a struggle all night. I think most of the people along our stretch didn't catch, but a, a bit further up the beach, people were catching smaller hounds. Um, but otherwise, no, it's just a really quiet night all round. Um, yeah, disappointed. But the crab experiment worked with my crab net, chucking it out. 
probably got about 30 or 40 crabs here that are usable. So not a complete um, waste of a trip, but yeah. Oh well, this is going to be a short video, so by the time you got to this, <laughs> you'll see there's not many highlights to show. But if um if you're watching this, then obviously I thought it was worth uploading anyway. But um no, we've got a good kayak session coming next week, and then we're back on the fish. So thank you for watching, and once again, thanks for everyone that jumped on the live stream tonight. Sorry there's no fish, but I'll catch you next time. Thank you.